Blessed are those who read aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear, and of course, blessed are those who keep it. But uh, we're going to read Matthew chapter 5 from 1 to 48. Uh, we'll read it loud and we'll read it uh, with conviction and hope to hear it with uh, our inner spiritual ears. But I'll just pray first. Thank you, Father, that we can gather together. <coughs> we do so in your name. Thank you for the scriptures that we have. Thank you for the the life and the death of Jesus. Thank you that, um, Jesus, you said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. So we read these with that conviction and with that awareness, and we pray that you open our hearts to understand and to receive and to go and do what it is you said. In Jesus' name. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if someone wants to sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. If someone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Anyway, it's good to hear that again and again and again, I think to hear the words of Jesus. As um, Stanley Jones says too, like it's one thing to say, well, I'll just be stoic and a guy slaps me, you know, I'll, just, I'll just take it, and that's it. You know? Or if he, if he sues me for my coat, okay, he can have my coat. <coughs> or if he forces me to go one mile, good, I'll go the one mile and, and I'll, you know, I'll clench my, uh, I mean, I, you know, bite my teeth again, and I'll, I'll do it, I'll go the one mile. But Jesus said, like, the, the gospel part, the good news, or the, the extra, you know, thing is, you know, that you actually turn the other cheek. And the guy then, by that time, you know, is beginning to feel, you know, should he hit him again? You know? <laughs> and it's beginning to touch his heart. And, and the way in Paul in Romans 12 says, you know, you, uh, you overcome evil with good. And the same thing, like, you know, somebody sues you and... And you, you say, oh, well, if you want some more, maybe, you know, I've got more here you can have. If, uh, anyway, that, that part of it is the, uh, the extra sort of, uh, as Jesus asks there, what more are you doing than others if you just greet your brothers, you know, you're kind to your kids? Well, you know, everybody's kind to their kids, that's nothing special. But, you know, if somebody, uh, you know, has become your enemy, Will you uh, be loving and kind and pray for them and bless them? And the same thing, like uh, as he says, with uh, forcing to go one mile. If you say, "Oh, you know, uh, I'm glad to have helped you this one mile now," yeah, you know, what about the second? I could uh, take it further anyway. It's uh, that's the uh, the extra bit. Like the, uh, uh, I think it's good to put it that way. Like Jesus has weapons too. <laughs> But they're weapons of love and forgiveness and kindness and, and uh, as we use it, like turning the other cheek. His desire is to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship and sharing in his suffering, becoming like him in his death and so somehow to attain 
to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this, or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ took hold of me. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining forward to what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. I stop. Thank you for each one here. Bless each one of us, Lord, as we seek to live these things out in your name.